Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the latest issue of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer magazine. Now as per usual with all these videos, if you like them, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop me a comment down below. I love hearing about from you guys, it goes a massive way to helping out the channel too. Now, this week we're on issue 72 of Stormbringer magazine. We get a super cool hero for our Stormcast Eternal, so we get Bastion Carthalos. Really, really cool mini. Um, has a part sculpted base, so the idea is that you put this down and then he sits on top of it and everything like that. Um, and he has that pretty cool warrior kind of striding into battle pose. Uh, and you can build him in two ways. So, I'm not going to lie, I've already got this mini. Um, and that is how I did him before. So, in the words of Blue Peter, here's one I prepared earlier. So... I did him in the lines of Sigmar colour scheme. I did him with uh, without the helmet and with a hammer in two hands. You can have him with a hammer in a single hand, like it is in the picture, and you can have him with a helmet. I really, really enjoyed doing this mini. I will probably do this mini again, um, but only different. I will do him with the helmet on and with a hammer in one hand and change the way I painted him a little bit. So I'm going for a, a different colour scheme, probably, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, really, really cool mini. Um, a super fantastic one. Definitely one worth, definitely worth doing. So pretty cool for any Stormcast Eternals player. Um, and yeah, really good stuff. So pretty damn cool. Anyway, going into this week's issue. First off, we are greeted by Archeon the Ever Chosen. So Archeon the Ever is the greatest Chaos Warlord to have ever lived. He has been bestowed an honour few beings have ever received, the blessing of the four Chaos Gods. It was Archeon who masterminded the empire-shattering wars of the Age of Chaos, and it is Archeon alone who can unite the disparate forces of Chaos into a single horde. Archeon is as bloodthirsty as the greatest champion of Khorne, as canny as the most masterful plotters of Zinch, as swift as Slanesh is chosen, and as unrelenting as any great lord of Nurgle. So, the other thing with Archeon is he has a very storied history. So going on to the other page, it does say that he has dark origins. For eons ago, Archeon caused the destruction of the world that was. After his victory, he was cast into the void, only to be snatched from death by the Chaos Gods, who valued their champion greatly. With promises of power and glory and the chance to slay his hated foe Sigmar, the gods tempted Archeon to once again leave their forces and invade the mortal realms. So, there is an even longer story to do with Sigmar and uh, Archeon the Everchosen. Um, they are very, very similar. So he's basically... he was uh he held his own against the god king he caused sigma sigma to lose his hammer galmaraz uh and doom the mortal realms in the world that was he set off the cataclysmic end times um to the point where even the combined forces of nagash teclis tyrian uh malekith or malarian that is now known um lariel the Oryx uh, that imbued with the power of uh, Gur and such like, all infused with the eight winds of magic, could not defeat him at the time and could not stop his uh, charge and his uh, earth shattering um, world of was kind of destruction. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff uh, and a very, very interesting champion as well. Then we move on, we have our page for Bastion Carflos. So Bastion Carflos is Lord Commander of the Hammers of Sigmar, and he rules over the entire Stormhost. For many years, he has commanded his forces from Azir, but now he ventures out to fight across all the realms, bringing the judgment and wrath of Sigmar to his enemies. Bastion Carflos is, um, is the first Lord Commander as well, so during the Age of Chaos, the gates of Azir were sealed, Bastion Carflos led the Hammers of Sigmar, the first Stormhost, to cleanse the realm of the forces of Chaos. And this feat saw Sigmar name him as first ever Lord Commander. So, you know, a bit of information for you. Um, the idea is as well that you're kind of... He is meant to be 
from the Hammers of Sigma, in all honesty, it is entirely up to you if you want to do them as a different colour scheme, you can do. Um, just name him something different if you wanted to. But yeah, pretty cool stuff, and he's a very, very interesting champion at the same time. So, you get his uh, tactics and great deeds and epic deeds as well. And then we move on, we have our build guide. So our build guide, he's got a few small niggly bits, so they are a bit of a pain in the backside. Dry fit everything, because uh, when I built my first one, the back and front didn't sit quite flush together at the time. Uh, and it took a little bit of manipulating to get it right, but you can do it. Um, super cool as well. Obviously, if you're gonna go with the double hands, you're not gonna be following quite that step of uh, number 2A, you will want to do it slightly differently. Um, the magazine recommends it and I recommend it as well. Do everything in sub-assemblies. So you'll do your sub-assemblies um, and the idea is once you've painted them, then attach them all together. So do the cloak separate, which isn't really a sub-assembly, you're just literally painting a cloak, um, and then put it on his back. Do his head separate, do his um, base separate, and his actual pose. And then it's up to you if you're going with a two-handed hammer or if you're going with him just carrying it in one hand and striding along. Entirely up to you, but a really, really cool mini. If you are gonna do him in sub-assemblies, the idea is you can do like a little blue tag dots. Um, this helps with gluing, which is right. If you do try to glue paint on paint, it sometimes is a bit of a pain in the backside uh, and it doesn't sit very well. And um, yeah, you want really clean plastic to kind of do it. And then you painting. So if you're going to go with the painting scheme that they're doing, it is fairly straightforward. There are quite a few steps to it, so do not worry about it. Uh, but once you've done it, once you've got all them little bits done and you've got everything kind of nice and neat and super cool, he will look pretty badass. And he will be an absolute unit to put out the kind of uh, on the battlefield. Uh, and then yeah, just attach it once you're all done and happy days. And then obviously you've got little highlights and stuff like that you can do. So he has got a couple of little gems. So make sure you've got a very nice tipped brush. So if your brush is looking a little bit knackered, get yourself some new ones uh, because they'll go massively. You don't even have to buy the GW ones, buy them from ABC brushes or somewhere like that or through Wayland Games or anyone like that uh, and save yourself some money in the long run. Um, yeah, otherwise though, if you're painting his head, the only downside with, the, with it is his head's held on by the top of his head to the sprue, which does bug me a little bit because you have to then touch up that area. So once you've uh, clipped it off, you've then got to go back over it. And if it's, you don't clip it off quite flush against his head, um, you're going to left with a little weird bobbly bit and you'll need to smooth it out anyway. So I personally, what I will always recommend is a fairly simple trick. Get yourself a pin vise, which is a little hobby drill, a little handheld hobby drill. Paper clip, a cork, literally cut the paper clip, straighten it out, hobby drill into it. It's about around about one to two mil. Um, and pop his head on there, and then you can paint his head separately, and away you go. It does make life a little bit easier, in the all honesty. Um, but once you're done, you're going to have something looking like that, which is pretty good, so you can't really knock it. Then we move on, we have our War Scroll for Bastion Carthalos. Uh, in all honesty, the War Scrolls are going to change, so, you know, it is what it is. But he has got a pretty decent attack. He has got a lot of bravery, eight wounds as well, so he is pretty, pretty damn cool. And uh, he has some nice, unique abilities. Uh, as per usual as well, you've got the... Uh, the ways of using him as well so he's thunderborn he has mantle of the first storm and he's a castellan of azir so some special rules to do with him so and how to use them then we're moving on we have a battle plan so the last stand valley of shadows so going into it the idea is we're just using heroes so five heroes on each side one battle mat and you know Time to get a bit smashy smashy and uh, capturing points, because why not? Uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting, pretty different, so not bad at all. Then, obviously, 
There's not really a lot to say on that page, as per usual. Next week, though, we get our 10 Auric Odd Boys. These are the newer sculpts. Uh, pretty damn cool. So if you want a really, really big, beefy Auric army, try and get a couple of copies of this issue. Although it's probably going to be difficult because I can imagine loads of Auric players have uh, snapped them up. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. Issue 74 is our last, last bit of scenery. It is our Guardian Idol. Um, so we have two Guardian Idols, so obviously paint them all the same way, and away you go. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So, really, really cool stuff. Obviously, that's next week. Next, not this weekend, but the weekend after, so the weekend of issue 73, is the launch of Skaven Tide. Is the new good old box set for the new edition of Warhammer The Age of Sigmar game i'm looking forward to it i've pre-ordered mine i hope you've managed to secure yours if you manage to secure yours is it next week yeah it is uh, i had a real moment then um but yeah really really cool stuff um obviously i will cover it on the channel and we'll go through it and we'll try and talk it up and i'll try and do some videos to do with everything um if you haven't checked it out i did a video the other day about good old uh, warhammer 40k combat patrol magazine Chances are it has got a release date now. Uh, there's more of a discussion about it all in the video. Check it out. Have a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's it from me. So yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Uh, but otherwise, there will be a few little changes to the channel um, in the near future. But otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you sometime soon. Bye-bye now.